Welcome to Dream Operations Lab. Today we are going to have experiment one titled Mod Density Determination. These are the apparatus for the experiments. Mass balance, measuring cylinder, the bentonite, distilled water, and the beakers for the mixing. Then we have a mod balance. This is a fan mod balance, model 140. Here we have the mod balance. This is the lead, and then we have the runner, and then the ham. So the graduation, it is graduated in two basic units. We have the American unit, which is the pounds per gallon. We also have the SI unit, which is the gram per cc. All right? It's extremely important that the density of the drilling fluid must be known at every point of the operation. Whether you are drilling oil, gas, or shale, where high pressure is required, or in operations where we have low density or low pressure zone. Frequent density test aids in preserving safety factor by transmitting changes taking place by unit weight of mold. The aim of the experiment is to determine the mold density of the water-based drilling fluid and also to determine their respective hydrostatic or pressure gradient. Now, let's see how we can calibrate the instruments used in determining the weight of the mold. The first thing we do is that we test the specific gravity of water. Here, we're going to be using American unit, which is 8.3 pounds per gallon. So let's have... We wipe it off, set on the knife edge, and then turn the runner to 8.3 pounds per gallon. And then we are allowed to balance. Now, good. Now we have the bubble at what? The center of the knife edge. That means it is now what? Calibrated. So the next thing now, after calibration, is that we discard the water and then move to determination of the mold density. Now, before we start measuring the mold density, we have to measure and prepare the mold. According to this, uh, the data we have on this table, sample A, we are going to measure bentonite of 30 gram per 200 ml of water. Sample B, bentonite of 40 gram per 200 ml of water. And sample C, bentonite of 50 gram per 200 ml of water. For the purpose of this demonstration, we are going to have uh, sample A and then test it using the uh, mod balance. Thank you. You zero the okay, and then you go. That's thirty gram of bentonite, and then here we have two hundred ml of water. And then we can pour the 30 gram into the beaker and then mix with water, 200 ml of water.
and then we we'll mix until we have a homogeneous mixture so that our drilling fluid will be uniform. Now we have an homogeneous mixture. And then we have pour it here. The essence of the lead is to gauge the fluid in the cup. Wipe. We are wiping so that to remove uh, error due to parallax. And then you move the runner until it is balanced. Now we have our release at 8.9 pounds per gallon, and then we take the readings as shown in this table. For the petroleum engineering students, it's important for them to note the uses of drilling fluid, which are number one, they serve as lubricants and reduce frictional heat during drilling operation. Number two, they reduce wear and tear of the drilling bits. Also, they are used to bring up the cuttings from the drilling operations. They also serve as mechanical supports and prevent kick. Drilling fluid also helps to build formation pressure and also they are used to transmit information from the drilling operation. Lastly, it may be worthy of note that Drilling fluid are used to clear the bottom hole after the operation. There are other reasons why you want to use drilling fluid in operations. It's important for you to make sure you do your research and discover other purposes for using your drilling fluid. For this experiment, I would want you to know that you might need to do some calculations and graphical correlations between your mass of bentonite per meal of solution and the hydrostatic pressure gradient that you are going to calculate. Thank you.